Hello, welcome to question two of the C Hello World. Okay, write a script that generates assembly code of a C code and save it in an output file. The C file name will be saved in the variable, in this variable. Okay, then the output should be named the same as the C file, but the output should be named as the same as the C file, but the extension should be this, okay, dot uh, uh, S instead of dot C, okay, the same example like this. So what do we need to do? Let's go down here, look at the instruction, then what do we do? First, let's take the, let's go to our sandbox. The first thing we are going to do here is to, let's create the, the, the 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 file the main file the main dot so we say v main dot x enter I press insert on your keyboard let me make my screen big okay it's big enough so let's just grab this this code this is where you type you type all this code this to this point you type it ensure that you type it don't copy and paste just type it okay ensure that you type it ensure that you type it and press escape press shift colon x okay Okay. because my shift I'm already out of the because my I make the screen so big you can see I'm already out the cursor is blinking here so the next thing that we are going to do now is to create uh, is, is, is to export it export export C file goes to mean Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do is to create a for the file, which is this file. This file. Here. Okay. Then use the file, enter it, then insert. So we use the command. Remember to use the first line. The first line should be bash in bash. Okay, enter. Then the GCC to run it. GCC bash x the, the variable GCC. Remember the variable, right? That's the variable. Then you press the escape key on your keyboard, press shift colon X and exit. Okay, now let's try to if you try to run it, you see that you have error because you have not converted it to you have not made it executable. Let's see okay, so you can understand. See if I try to run it now, it's telling me. I don't have the permission. So what we need to do here next, we make it equitable for all. Right? That's the code to do that. Then when we do that, when you try to run it again now, see to run right. Then what the next thing to do is to commit add it to git. Okay. Okay. Now what I need to do next. After I compile, you know when after I compile it, now I have to after I commit, I need to give it what I need to commit with the right comment. Comment to so right and enter. Okay, you see what it's saying? It said we have on track file. That is not something, 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 something. Okay, that means we have to go back. 
Mm -hmm. Say head brand traditional has one commit. Use git push it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back. So the best way the way we will solve this problem now is to add git add all to enter and we'll give the command git commit dash m dash m Let me go back and shift give space here. Okay, enter and push it. So, what it was telling me that I have some commits that I've not done, so I push it now. Maybe it will go. Then let's go back and check our answer. If it's correct, you will see the answer. Let me reduce my screen so that you can see it. Okay. Okay, you can see it. Let me scroll down. Answer is correct. So that's that. I'll stop here. I'll create another video shortly. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.